Hey everybody, Hambo here up at the desk with my buddy Green Lantern. Stop by to make sure I was going to go to the movie premiere this week. Oh yeah, can't wait for that. But anyway, here today to talk to you about, believe it or not, ripoffs, but not the financial kind. We're talking about the gear cases. It's a company out of San Dimas, California called Ripoffs. I learned about these from local cops and fire. Uh, rescue personnel that I know. Uh, they're sold at the local cop shop. They're sold online. I put the link down there. The reason I recommend these is because, again, it's an affordable, and I do mean affordable, very, very good value for your money to hold the things you carry with you in your EDC. If you're like me, you've got a bag, you've got a ton of stuff on your belt, and if you're using the individual cases that they all came in, You've got a string of stuff on your belt. Well, the first thing to do naturally is try to condense them. You can go with the cases from Night Eyes. There's a couple of other manufacturers, and everybody's got different ones, and they've all got their pluses and minuses. But for durability, everything you see on the table here is at least seven or eight years old. And except for some minor dings, it's all still going strong. This is one of the oldest cases I have. It's for a flashlight. It was originally designed for a mace canister but it holds flashlights really well. And as you can see, it is practically brand new. Now I have, for instance, uh, it'll hold a flashlight with no problem. And it's got a very sturdy spring clip on the back and a really good detent there so it won't pop out off the belt under normal use. But uh, you can use it for that. You can use it to hold a multi-tool, whatever you want. And it comes in two styles, either this really super durable basket weave ballistic nylon, or if you're looking for something a little dressier, God knows I wouldn't want to interfere with your fashion sense, they do have this ballistic soft nylon. This is perfect for blackberries. There's the name of the company, Ripoffs. And... Uh, Cell phones of that style. I'm actually sending this to my girlfriend in California for her cell phone. Uh, they also have other types for cell phones like mine, a little bit bigger and bulkier, and have the appendages that come out. And again, they all come with their really super heavy-duty steel spring clips on the back. Here's an old one for an old cell phone. You may have a smaller cell phone that may have or may not have an appendage. Not many of them do anymore, but here's my old LG cell phone. Still sitting in the case that I got for it. And this phone is like, what, six, seven years old? But they come in a number of different designs. And uh, if you go to the website, you'll see they have just like tons of different things. This is indicative of the kind of stuff they do. This is a three-way belt case. There's the clip. You've got three separate compartments. Okay. In this, you can put the center compartment is the perfect size for something like a mag light. Okay, that holds really well. And you can get to each one of these separately just by pulling the tab. Uh, another compartment might be for a multi-tool. I don't have one of my multi-tools with me. But uh, the other one could be for a knife. Now, this one may be a little bit big, but it fits. Okay. And then a multi-tool in this one. And it rides really well, really secure in the belt. Again, look at the detent on that. Can you see that cylinder there? Your belt is not going to slide off of this really easily. And that spring holds it very well. Now, the cool thing about this, too, is as with a lot of their cases, they didn't waste the space back here. If you can see, there's an extra pouch that you could put notepads. Here, there's one right here. I just happen to have one. It's one of my right in the rain pads. That'll fit in there perfectly. Got room for a pen if you want. But this can ride on your hip. And it's got everything you need. And I think this is under $20. I'm not sure, but it isn't much more than that. And you know where to get the right in the rain books. These are great. Uh, but, you know, some good alternatives. I'm not saying these are the alternative. They're just something that worked for me. Here's my big old G2 from uh, Surefire sitting in a case. This travels with me a lot. And again, 
I know if it's on my belt, it's going to stay on my belt until I physically take it off. Um, and they've got, like, cool little combination things. For instance, if you want to carry a multi-tool and a flashlight, they came up with this. You'll find out as you go through the website, they've got, like, just tons of different designs. Flashlight will go in there. That'll hang on your belt like so. You can get to it fairly easily. It just eliminates clutter on your belt. And as you go throughout your day, as you're familiar with your EDCs, that's the name of the game. So, anyway, ripoffs. Uh, I think they're a good alternative. Check them out. The website's below this video. And uh, have a very safe and happy holiday. We'll talk to you next time.